Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. I love when there's an Apple keynote. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of stress, but it's a lot of fun. Over 2,000 people have gathered in the Moscone Center to hear the 2007 Macworld live keynote. So here we are bringing it to you and let's see what happens. Okay, so it's not going to be called ITV, it's going to be called Apple TV. Uh, here are the details as they're coming out. Uh, let's see, USB 2, Ethernet, Wi-Fi networking, HDMI, wirelessly transmit content to the TV, uh, component RCA, 720p HD video, 40 gigabyte hard drive, 802.11 Wi-Fi, all three, BG and N, uh, Intel processor in it, video music and photos, you can auto sync content from one PC, stream up to five PCs, <laughs> Go. We're so excited about this, we can't even turn the computer on. Okay, widescreen iPod has just been announced. Yes! <laughs> also, there's a phone and something called an internet communicator. Looks like they're calling it iPhone. Steve says it's going to be much easier to use than other smartphones. Of course, what else would you expect from Apple? Wow, it runs OS 10. Yes! Okay, here are some pictures, uh, some more information. Three and a half inch screen, the highest resolution screen ever shipped. There's only one button on the front, 160 pixels per inch, two megapixel camera, uh, of course a headset jack, um, a, an iPod connector, ambient light sensor, saves power, a widescreen video of course with a widescreen iPod. <laughs> Let's see what else, and more to come. They're demoing the iPod functionality right now. I think Neil has some pictures. You've got some, Neil? Yeah. Wow. They're beautiful. Small, too. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, small, too. He's in. <laughs> um, lots of pictures coming out. Um, oh, did you get the one with the calendar and contacts and all that? Yeah. Take a look at this picture. It's a picture of the album art. The guys in gadgets say it doesn't scroll quite as smooth as butter, but close. <laughs> it has something called visual voicemail, which allows you to, uh, I guess, look at voicemails like you would email, so you can pick and choose which voicemails you want to see or listen to, uh, as opposed to listening to all five voicemails before you get to the sixth one that you really want to hear. Making a phone call is done by just touching a name, but for you old-fashioned types, you could still pull up a keyboard if you want. <laughs> Man, I can't imagine what phone makers are thinking right now. Okay, so here, now the internet communicator on the phone, rich HTML email, any IMAP or POP, and that's all I have for now. This is just like Jeff Hahn's research, a multi-touch interface. You can resize a picture with two fingers, make it bigger or smaller. Very cool. It has GPS built in and tight integration with Google Maps, so you can find a Starbucks nearby and touch it and it calls it. And also you can use that multi-touch interface, zoom in, zoom out with a touch of your fingers. So an internet communicator, an iPod, and a phone, let's put them all together and see what you can do in a real life scenario. So he's, on the f or he's actually listening to music, a call comes in, the music fades out, and they talk. So what's it gonna cost? The four gigabyte model will be $4.99 and the eight gigabyte model will be $5.99 and it ships in June. Unfortunately, oh, we have to wait that long. <laughs> wow, they've changed their name to Apple Inc., not Apple Computer anymore because they're no longer just a computer company. I really, really, really want to thank Engadget and Mac Rumors Live. All the pictures we used came from Engadget. Thank you guys for doing such a great job covering this. I've got to wrap this up because I've got to head over to MSNBC and talk about, I guess, the iPhone. I'm probably going to miss the one more thing. Hmm. Another Pod Show video podcast. Stick it on your screen.